Composition charts are used to see how a part compares with the whole, and how a total value can be divided among components. Choosing the right chart depends on if you want to visualize data that changes over time, or if the data is static. When selecting a chart type for data that changes over time, you first have to consider the number of intervals that relate to your data. If you want to show data related to a few periods, you have to determine whether you are only interested in visualizing relative differences, or both relative and absolute differences. Once you have decided, you can choose between different outputs. For example, if you want to show the sales by quarter and visualize the differences between regions, you can use a stacked bar chart. In this manner, you can visualize the differences related to each region and the absolute differences compared to the total. But if you are only interested in highlighting the sales for each quarter, you can subtract the total sales and view only the differences between regions. As shown here, only the relative differences are highlighted. If the data is related to many periods, it is better to choose a stacked area chart. Once again, depending on whether you want to visualize relative differences or relative and absolute differences, you can select different visualizations. Here we want to visualize monthly sales with detail by region. We can change the appearance and select the stacked area chart to have a better understanding of the data. As before, we can choose to visualize relative and absolute values, or only the relative values, and insert an expression to subtract the total sales. By doing this, we highlight the differences between regions. If your data is static and you just want to show a simple share of the total, you can use a pie chart. With a pie chart, you can visualize how total sales are distributed within each region. If you want to show how component quantities combine to produce a total, you can use a waterfall chart. Here, for example, you have the same data as before, namely sales per region, but with this type of visualization, the comparison with total sales is highlighted. If you want to highlight the components of the total, you can use a stacked bar chart. You can create a stacked bar chart to view the sales by manager, by region. If you want to show how hierarchically ordered elements make up a total, you can use a tree map. Here you can visualize the sales overview for each product. And that concludes this video. Here is an overview of the charts that you can use to visualize the composition of your data.